In this video, we're going to have a look at the demo application that is available from the Morphis documentation site. This has been made available along with several tutorials that enable developers to get to grips with the offerings of frames and foundations in a short period of time. We'll take a look at the design of the application to get a decent feel for it and see it in action. We'll be drilling down into the code in later tutorials, so for now we'll restrict ourselves to trying out the application. Let's take a look at how the application is designed. Essentially, the app demonstrates uh, a simple three-way relationship between departments, employees, and orders, where a department has a number of employees, one of whom is responsible for it, and orders are attributed to salesmen. Let's fire up Tomcat and run the application. Our first step is to log into the database. Now, I've cheated a bit by including the logging details in a configuration file within the project. Uh, all that means is that I don't have to fill in the details each time so I can be a bit more efficient. After logging in, we see this screen uh, which is known as the workspace. Now this is the default delivery container for applications built with frames and foundations. We'll talk more about it in a later video. Uh, and actually, an application is made up of one or more tasks, each of them also known as modules. Uh, in this case, our master detail app is just one task. Now let's load the app by going through the workspace menu like this. Here we have the basic screen of master detail that shows three collapsible panels. At the top, we have two panels containing information about each department. At the bottom, we have a grid showing all employees within that department. Already this shows a master detail relationship as there is a constraint that an employee can only belong to one department. We can navigate between departments simply by using keystrokes, uh, up arrow for next and down arrow for previous. Notice how when we get to the last department we can't go any further and the same from when we go back to the beginning. When changing the department you'll also notice that the data in the employees grid changes as well. This is all handled automatically by foundations. If we want to see uh, the departmental orders then we can press the order button. Of course the data is specific to each department. Then we have a modal or a pop-up window with another data grid uh, which in this case is read-only. We can use basic keystrokes to navigate through the grid intuitively and we also have access to a useful helper function called the list of values uh, and we do this by pressing F9 on certain fields. This will help us choose data to input into a field uh, when we might need more than just one data field to help us make the decision. So for example, as an end user, I would need to know names rather than just ID numbers. Now the app also implements some data validation uh, here on the higher date field. So for example, if I were to change the higher date to some point in the future, the app will alert me to the error with a given message, all part of the application's design. Uh, but the validation functionality is built into the frameworks. We can add records in the grid in two ways. One, we can just keep uh, scrolling down through the grids until we get to the end and then the app will automatically give us a new record uh, and notice how the M by D field is already filled in. Or two, we can press the F6 key uh, to create a new record. Basic CRUD functionality is automatically available in the app as it is implemented by foundations. Now we've al already seen how we can create and update records. Uh, we can also delete them by selecting the record and pressing Shift and F6. We can clear a record by pressing Shift and F4. We can duplicate uh, a record with Control, Shift and F4. And if we want to make uh, save our changes, then we press Control, S.
Searching data is also automatically provided via foundations. If we press F7, we enter the search mode like this. Uh, we can then enter a search term in one of the fields and press F8 to execute the search and load any matching data. Uh, Control Q cancels the search mode. Uh, if we just press F8 again, uh, then it reloads uh, the data and that's regardless of being in search mode or not. If we need to clear the form of data, then we press Control F7. Now Foundations also implements a customizable pagination uh, on grids. Uh, so uh, pressing page up and page down helps you navigate between your pages. And if you want to go to the beginning, you press Control and Home. Uh, and if you want to get to the end, uh, you can press Control and End.